Hey everyone, happy Mardi Gras. Today's Fat Tuesday, went to Trader Joe's, did a big haul, um, hadn't been there in a while, probably right before, was it Christmas or Thanksgiving? Oh my God, like three, four months. Anyway, so here's my big Trader Joe's haul. We needed some stuff, you know what? I could have bought so much extra stuff that we tend to use and I knew I didn't have the space in the refrigerators or the freezer for everything. Um, so I'm just gonna have to go back again one day, but I did find some new things and I did buy some old regulars. Um, I got the collard bread, it's funny. When I first started buying their collard bread, it was much bigger and it's gotten smaller over the years. But um, I bought collard bread. Uh, I like to make French toast with this. I haven't done that in such a long time. And I bought the sliced French brioche, which also makes great French toast. So I actually wanted to make some French toast and then have some extras for, you know, other breakfasts. But these are a nice treat, a very rich treat, a rich breakfast uh, to make French toast with. So I figured I'm gonna get those. And then, you know, again, this is like the third time I went to Trader Joe's and they didn't have the power protein muffins. Uh, so I did buy the boys, the ones that like chocolate, uh, banana chocolate chip muffins. They did like these in a little condensation because they were in the bag with the cold stuff, but they did like these. So I was like, eh, let me get those. But yeah, I really like getting the power protein muffins. And again, they didn't have them. I hope it's not discontinued, really. Uh, and then I was with my husband, and he wanted to try these, the chocolate chunk cookies. Never had those, so that's a new item. And then for the non-chocolate lover, we got the all butter shortbread cookies with the apricot and the raspberry filling. Really, really good. Um, and then the chocolate lovers got the Dunkers. And then the non-chocolate lover got the ultimate vanilla wafers. Um, these are really good. They taste like Nilla's. And I heard, I don't remember if I put it in a video or not, but, um, they had told me one time at Trader Joe's when you put their blueberry goat cheese in between two vanilla wafers, tastes like blueberry cheesecake. So I would like to give that a try. Um, I still haven't tried it. If I did post it on another video, a very old video, I actually have not tried that yet. But I have those now. So we got our cookie stash because um, with the holidays, I was just getting rid of junk food left and right. And finally, we are completely depleted and the boys have been asking for cookies. So now I restocked. And got some mayonnaise. I only like Trader Joe's mayonnaise or... Um, whole foods, uh, literally you re you could read the ingredient list. So that's the only mayonnaise I would buy. We use the mayonnaise in, well, my husband does for chicken salad sandwiches. He loves to can chicken. Um, and he likes to make salad. So mayonnaise lasts a long time in this house. So we did need some because he does use that for lunch for either tuna or chicken salad. So I have that and we needed more mayonnaise. Um, I picked up this marinara sauce. It used to be $1.99, now it's $2.29. Um, but it is a good marinara sauce. I used to get this back when I lived in New York. Um, I do have some other favorites now, but I don't know when I'm gonna be going back to a store since we did Costco already. And um, I did sprouts not too long ago. So uh, I picked up just this marinara sauce just to have. It does have 450 milligrams of sodium per serving and I'm not too happy about that, but it is a good sauce to have. Um, I could probably like dilute it or something, but I just, I like to have some pantry stash. You know what I'm saying? And then these beans, oh my God. Um, we, me and my husband, Love them. I had bought one can from Trader Joe's. Um, sorry. Ah. I bought one can from Trader Joe's and we actually ate it with some grilled chicken. And it was so good. They're giant. They are actually giant. It says cannellini beans, but I want to say they're like the butter beans, giant beans in a tomato sauce with Mediterranean herbs and spices. 
they were really, really good. And they went well with grilled chicken and we had a salad on the side. It was so good. So got three more cans. They're $1.99 a can. Um, so I got three more. Me and my husband are the only ones that eat that. And we were able to split it down the middle pretty much and got a good serving size for each of us with the chicken. So got three more for my pantry. Uh, and then these very strangely ended up in my cart because I was with the hubby. So he loves these. He doesn't like the dark chocolate ones. So he likes those in the refrigerator. Um, got some organic cherry tomatoes. Got some lemons. Um, I like doing lemon water. I like putting them in tea. Um, and then some recipes might require it. So I like to have lemons. Got some more uh, romaine hearts for salads. My son likes to romaine lettuce. Um, I like arugula. Um, I have some spinach in the refrigerator from Costco for my last haul. But the romaine is gone, so I got more romaine. And then this salad dressing, I really like. I like this with the Spanish food. So when I have a salad with either Mexican or Puerto Rican, rice and beans, and some Spanish dish, I like to have the cilantro dressing with it. Um, and then this one, I really, really enjoy the champagne pear vinaigrette. Great when you're having a salad with steak. Um, Spray olive oil that we use for cooking stuff. This rice vinegar. I bought rice vinegar because I was looking at my Instapot cookbook and there was a recipe for, I believe it was orange chicken and it was like a blogger's favorite um, to serve with white rice. And so the recipe did require, I believe soy sauce, ho hoisin sauce, which I have both of those, but it also asked for rice vinegar. So I was like, you know what? Let me get a bottle of that so I can have, so I can try to make that dish. Orange chicken, Instapot. I'll let you know how it comes out. And then balsamic glaze. Um, we used to eat this like, like water. I mean, we drizzled it on everything and we forgot about it. And while my husband was there, he's like, do we have any more of that? So I couldn't recall. And so we picked up another jar in case we don't have it. He likes putting it on his turkey or chicken san sandwiches, sandwiches, what kind of word, sandwiches, and um, he likes to drizzle this on with tomato and uh, mozzarella cheese. So he likes his sandwiches like that, or wraps, and he likes putting that on there. And then I got him some more cowboy, oh wow, wow I'm having difficulty saying things, cowboy caviar, got two jars of those. I believe those are $3.29 now. Yeah, prices are going up. Um, organic half and half for coffee. And then these were some new items, some organic Italian artisan pastas. I picked up the orecchette. And they say it's really good to make these with heavier sauces because the little curls um, really pick up the sauce. And then this was a... I mean, I've seen this shape before, but they call this... Gigli. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. Um, they look like little trumpets. Uh, I thought, not camp, there was, I remember Barilla or some other company had a different name for that, but I figured I'd give that a try. That's always fun. I got two uh, containers of the orange strawberry juice, banana juice that we enjoy having. Um, in the produce section, I also got onions and three bananas because that's our family max. And some more green beans because my son loves them roasted with garlic, olive oil, salt, and pepper. And these are pretty tiny bags, so I bought two. And I still don't even know if it's going to serve the whole family, but I have some fresh broccoli. And I can toss that in there and make a blend of green beans and broccoli and roast that because he really likes that. Uh, I hate missing something because I've been doing that a couple times, but over here we do have a party that we're going to have, a little social gathering this weekend, and I needed some more red wines. I had picked up some white wine from Costco in my last haul for the party coming up, so here are some reds because I have Cabernet, but then we picked up a Merlot. We have a friend that likes Merlot. We also picked up a Pinot Noir. And we picked up a Cabernet Merlot blend. So these were from Trader Joe's. These were all in about the $8 price range. Um, I tend to like wine 
in the higher teens to $20, mid-20s price range, but since we're having company, they get the cheaper wine. <laughs> and then these got opened up in the car coming home. Um, these actually taste like the kettle chips from Costco. So these are the ridge cut potato chips with sea salt. So they got started on on the way home. And then I wanted to try these, which were really good. I enjoyed them a lot. The ridge cut sweet potato chips. Very crunchy, um, very delicious. I like them with jalapeno, um, so I really enjoyed that. So we got those, and I believe both bags were $1.99 each. And then over here, oh, almost forgot, for 49 cent bottles of water with the spout. Sometimes they sell them for like $3. Um, and then over here, more stuff. So we got cornbread mix. I like to make this, uh, I mix some sour cream in it and it gets more of a moisture texture to it. And we like to serve this with chili or, you know, put it on top of the chili and bake it like a shepherd's pie. So I like to have this in the house. Sometimes when I make ribs, which I haven't made ribs in a long time, um, the boys really like it. I would put make that as on a side also, as a side. And then this was a new item. Cinnamon sugar muffin baking mix. I was like, ooh, that's different. That's new at Trader Joe's. Um, so I want to give that a try. I believe that was $1.99. And then I got some more, move out of the way, cornbread. I got some more buttermilk pancake all-purpose baking mix. Um, I use that as a topping on pot pies when I don't have any crust or any of those Pillsbury refrigerator biscuits. I would mix that up. I believe it's a cup of pancake mix. Well, Bisquick. Um, I believe it's a cup of milk, something like that in an egg. I don't remember. I Googled it. Um, so basically it's like a biscuit topping, um, pot pie that you can make when you don't have crust or biscuits. So I do it with that. And, oh, and my sausage balls, I do with that too. Um, and then we got the nuts, 50% uh, less salt and roasted and salted. Um, so we got two bags of the whole cashews. They're $7.99 a bag. They fill up my Costco container. And I got two bags of the 50% less salt and roasted peanuts because we do like peanuts. These are like $2.99, $2.99 a bag, I think. Got two of those. Then in the freezer section, I got two bags of the chimichurri rice. Love it. So got two bags of those, um, a box of the almond croissants, and a box of the chocolate croissants. Uh, I like to have those. Um, I make them for the boys on like a Sunday morning, a nice lazy Sunday morning. Uh, you just have to remember to take them out the night before so they can rise. Got the bonbons. They've been highly requested since I bought the box last time, which like I think was around the holidays. Um, so this time I bought two boxes because they went pretty fast. And then the favorite ice cream sandwiches. Got two boxes of those because, again, now I don't frequent Trader Joe's as much as I used to. I still had one five cheese Greek sp spiral in the freezer. So two of them make a dinner for us. So I picked up one more and we could have that as a dinner with a side of some sort of meat. Um, two bags of organic peas. Every time I've been going to Costco, they don't have the peas. So um, I got them at Trader Joe's. I don't know what's going on with Costco peas, but we like peas in this house. And then two bags of my favorite frozen skinless chicken breasts. One of them I'm going to make tonight. The other one I'm going to make, throw in the freezer for another night. And I believe that is it. So there's my huge Trader Joe's shopping haul. Hope you guys have a great day. Hope I inspired you with some ideas and see you in the next video. Bye.